In this GlowShift Gauges installation video, we'll show you how to install the GlowShift 7 Color Series Diesel Gauge Package into your 2003 to 2007 Dodge Ram 5.9 liter Cummins. When you're ready, grab your tools and we'll meet you in the garage. The additional accessories featured will make installation easier and can be purchased through our website. For the purpose of this installation, we'll be using a 2006 5.9 liter Dodge Ram to install our gauge package. For safety, disconnect the negative battery terminals before starting any work on the vehicle. To install the boost line, start by wrapping the male boost line fitting with Teflon tape. Insert the boost line fitting into the boost bolt adapter and tighten them using 5 8 inch and 11 millimeter wrenches. Remove the front intake heater grid bolt closest to the valve cover. Insert the boost bolt adapter into the hole and tighten them using a 5 8 inch wrench. Place the female brass fitting onto one end of the boost line followed by the brass ferrule fitting. Then connect it to the boost line adapter and tighten using a 3 8 inch wrench. Ensure the ferrule fitting is facing downward to prevent any leaks. To install the EGT probe, start by using a punch to mark a flat portion of the exhaust manifold near cylinder 5, where the probe will be installed. Starting with a small drill bit, drill a hole in the manifold, increasing the bit size until a size R is reached. Use a shop vac and pen magnet to remove any metal shavings that may have fallen into the manifold. Use a 1 8 to 27 MPT tap to thread the hole and clean up any metal shavings. Apply anti-seize to the male threads of the EGT probe fitting, insert it into the manifold and tighten using a 14 mm wrench. Insert the exhaust temperature probe into the fitting. Ensure that the depth of the probe is approximately halfway into the manifold and tighten. Route the sensor wire to the driver's side firewall, keeping clear of any moving parts. To install the transmission temperature sensor, apply Teflon tape to the sensor, place it into the transmission test port extender, and tighten using 14 mm and 17 mm wrenches.
Raising the vehicle will make installation easier but may not be necessary depending on your specific vehicle. Remove the transmission test port bolt and place the extender and sensor into the port. Tighten using a 17 millimeter wrench. Attach the female silver connector and longer rubber cover to one end of the green wire from the gauge wiring harness. Then, attach the male silver connector and short rubber cover to the end of the black wire from the gauge wiring harness. Connect the green harness wire to the white wire from the sensor and connect the black harness wire to the black wire from the sensor. Run both wires to the engine bay, making sure to secure them out of the way of any moving parts or direct heat sources. If you purchased a gauge package that includes a fuel pressure gauge instead of a transmission temperature gauge, start by inserting the pressure sensor into the banjo snubber valve and tighten using 19 millimeter and 22 millimeter wrenches. Before removing the fuel filter banjo bolt, turn the fuel filter drain valve. Be sure to have a drain pan ready to catch the fluid that'll fall from the housing. Then, use a 17 millimeter wrench to remove the fuel filter banjo bolt. Place the banjo snubber, sensor, and crush rings onto the line and insert them into the fuel filter housing. Tighten them using a 19 millimeter wrench. Plug the sensor harness into the sensor and close the fuel filter drain valve. Once all of the sensor wires have been installed, run all of the sensor wires through the engine bay to the driver's side firewall. Attach the braided EGT gauge harness wire to the EGT sensor harness wire. Be sure to keep the wires clear of any moving parts.
Use an open grommet to run all the wires through the firewall and into the cabin of the vehicle. If you do not have an open grommet, carefully make a hole in an existing grommet and feed the wires into the cabin. Attach a ring terminal to the black ground wire from the transmission temperature sensor and connect it to a reliable grounding source in the engine bay. To run the wires up through the dash, remove the side dash cover and factory pillar. To wire the gauges to the pod, start by feeding the wires for the boost gauge through the pod and insert the gauge into the cup. Next. Place the EGT and transmission temperature gauges into the pod and connect the power wire harnesses. Using the yellow wire from the wiring harness, connect all of the yellow wires together. Using the red wire from the wiring harness, connect all of the red wires together. Using the orange wire from the wiring harness, connect all of the orange wires together. Using the black wire from the wiring harness, connect all of the black wires together. Use zip ties to secure the wires. Run the sensor wires up through the dash to the pod location, keeping them clear of the pedals and any moving parts. To connect the boost line to the back of the boost gauge, start by applying Teflon tape to the brass fitting on the back of the gauge. Place the brass bolt adapter onto the fitting and tighten using a 13 millimeter wrench. 
Run the boost line through the gauge pod and place the brass bolt fitting over the line followed by the brass ferrule fitting. Ensure the ferrule fitting is facing upward to prevent any leaks. Place the boost line into the fitting and tighten onto the gauge using a 3 8 inch wrench. Place the gauge back into the pod. Insert the braided EGT sensor harness into the EGT gauge. Run the power wires down through the dash and place the pod onto the pillar. Use the included pillar screw to secure the pod to the pillar. Using a wire connector, connect the green wire from the transmission temperature sensor to the green wire from the connector on the gauge. Locate a clean, reliable grounding source and attach the ring terminal on the black wire from the gauge pod. Reinstall the dash panel. Feed the power wires through the firewall and into the engine bay, keeping clear of any moving parts. For this installation, we'll be powering the gauges using expandable circuits, which can be purchased through our website. In order to test for power, you'll need to reconnect the negative battery terminals. Using a test light, locate fuse number 31 for constant 12 volt power. Locate fuse number 33 for ignition 12 volt power. Locate fuse number 16 for headlight 12 volt power. Attach the first expandable circuit to the yellow wire from the gauges. Remove the constant 12 volt fuse. Place it into the circuit and place the circuit into the fuse location in the fuse box. Attach the second expandable circuit to the red wire from the gauges.
remove the ignition 12 volt fuse, place it into the circuit, and place the circuit into the fuse location in the fuse box. Attach the third expandable circuit to the orange wire from the gauges. Remove the headlight 12 volt fuse, place it into the circuit, and place the circuit into the fuse location in the fuse box. Close the fuse box cover. Verify that the gauges are working properly by starting the truck and verifying all wiring. You've now successfully installed your GlowShift diesel gauge package into your 5.9 liter Cummins. If you have any questions, concerns, or comments, please contact us at 1-888-GS-GAGE and we'll see you on the road.